The first question we raised in this video is that monkeys never transmit the monkeypox disease causing virus and how the virus got its name, monkeypox. The answer is that this monkeypox disease was first identified in monkeys being used for research purposes in the year 1958. Before, we go into the symptoms and treatment of this disease. We will first give you good news so far, briefly explain the virus, and we'll move toward the disease transmission and symptoms. The good news is that WHO declines to label monkeypox as a global threat. This was reported in the journal Science on June 25, 2022. After two days of deliberation, an advisory panel convened by the World Health Organization has concluded the monkeypox outbreak that has spread to more than 50 countries does not yet warrant the declaration of a public health emergency of international concern, PHEIC, its highest alert level. It is believed that monkeypox viral infection is a zoonotic viral infection implying that animals are responsible for the transmission of the virus to humans. Monkeypox virus transmission from human to human is believed to be through large respiratory droplets. As such close contact among humans is supposed to be involved in viral transmission. A scientific study published on June 20, 2022 suggests that major transmission of monkeypox is among men who have sex with men MSM. Scientists believe the virus may have changed its mode of transmission. Important to mention here is that the monkeypox virus has been detected in the semen of people suffering from this disease. As far as the genetic material of the monkeypox virus is concerned, it is deoxyribonucleic acid DNA. DNA viruses are relatively stable in the environment when compared with RNA viruses. For example, COVID-19 causing virus is an RNA virus. Monkeypox virus belongs to the category of enveloped viruses. The viral envelope provides additional stability and protection to the virus's genetic material inside the envelope. Monkeypox symptoms are like smallpox, a viral disease that has been eradicated from the world through judicious vaccination program, monkeypox may be called mild smallpox. Primary symptoms of the infection are flu-like symptoms with fever, headache, and shortness of breath. This follows by skin rashes and the appearance of blisters filled with pus. These blisters vanish after two to three weeks. As far as treatments and vaccines are concerned. Vaccines developed for smallpox are effective against monkeypox. Unfortunately, there is no specific approved treatment for monkeypox. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention has proposed interim clinical guidance for treating monkeypox. We are going to discuss these shortly. However, it is believed that monkeypox is a self-limiting infection. It is dangerous when disease lesions or blisters appear in the eyes, mouth, genitals, and anal regions. The CDC interim clinical guidance suggests following treatments for monkeypox disease. All this information are based on CDC guideline and should not be considered recommendations by Biomed Global. Number 1 is Tecoviramat. It is an approved antiviral for treating human smallpox disease among adults and pediatric patients. The second proposed treatment is with Cidifover. Cidifover is an approved antiviral for cytomegalovirus infections. The third option for treating monkeypox with Vaccinia IgGs, these are approved for skin conditions due to Vaccinia infections. Brincidofover may also be used for monkeypox viral infection. It is an antiviral approved by the FDA for smallpox among adults and pediatric patients. Thank you very much for watching this video. We look forward to your comments. However, a couple of important messages are. Preventive measures protect better from viral infections. Vaccines protect from getting the infection. Whereas antivirals lessen disease severity. May you all be healthy and happy.